Jones, Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones. It's a podcast about Indiana Jones. Every movie, one minute at a time. Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones, minutes. Welcome back. To the Indiana Jones Minute, the podcast in which we celebrate and discuss the film Raiders of the Lost Ark, one minute at a time. I'm Tom Taylor. I'm Pete Mummert. That was a great intro. I'm Jerry Porter. And uh, I give that intro uh, five out of five. Oh, thank uh, you. Andrew Hawthorne <laughs> from the No Time for Heroics podcast. Well, the joke's on all you guys. I actually just <laughs> copied and pasted that intro from every single other damn episode <laughs> um but listen Move. good technique i like it here's a here's the first original part of the episode minute 84 begins with indy on horseback observing the caravan from a high ridge and it ends with a jeep rear-ending the truck yeah so indy's at the top of the hill on this horse and he gives us a yeah and up until now, we had like the rousing Raiders march as he's st- as our hero is stealing a horse, our hero <laughs> the horse thief is riding into action, and uh, but now that music stops, and he gives us a hya, and we're heading down the hill, and it's that dun 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 dun. dun, dun. It's it's like maybe I'm gonna we were talking about the John Williams business uh, a couple days ago. This might be the best piece of music in Raiders, Superman, Star Wars, anything. I love this whole truck chase sequence of music. It makes Sounds me like shots crazy. have been fired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bold claim. I don't know. Yeah. I stand by it. I got a whole truck chase to prove it. Um, I love that this starts with him, uh, like you said, on the horse, watching them on the road, and you get a sense he's briefly wondering if this was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Like, well, I like, like it's we, we sort of pick it up with like when they were in, in uh, Cairo everything was sort of didn't quite obey the laws of space and time. And a guy would run in one door and out the other. And yeah, this also has always struck me sort of like that because when he's watching them, he's, he's looking down. It looks like the trucks are turning a corner and they're past him. Yeah. But then somehow he rides down the hill and he's kind of right in between them. And it's, it's all, I like it because it's very sort of dreamlike imagery that's coming up. Yeah. He's probably um, dead. The, the other <laughs> thing that's really cool about this, this opening shot is that it's very similar to a shot from the beginning of the scene that inspired this one, the, the coach chase from Zorro's Fighting Legion, which is a, a, the old serial. And that scene starts with Zorro coming down a hill and, and features him leaping from a horse onto the stagecoach uh, in almost the same way. Uh, and then he ends up being dragged under, as, as Indy spoilers is about to be. And, yeah. and this whole stunt sequence was designed by a legendary guy named Yakima Canute, who is the uh, the famous stuntman behind Stagecoach and the Chariot Race and Ben Hur and all this stuff? And this is all an update on that. And and that one is on YouTube. You can go and watch it oh, if cool. you don't want to watch the whole serial. And it is incredible. Wow, what's it called? And it's called Zorro's Fighting Legion. And apparently there was actually a a lobby card in ILM that was hanging on the wall that had just that image of the Zorro transfer. And so they had been looking at it for years too. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Well, that's what's nice. I mean, at, you, you, at the beginning of this minute, there is just such a homage to the great westerns. Mm-hmm. It just they just took a, a a couple of seconds and built that up, and it's great. It's just a great shot. Yeah, yeah. there are a lot of things. For some reason, right now, I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking of Revenge of the Sith. George <laughs> Lucas talks about how he wanted to put Obi Wan Kenobi on that big lizard creature. Because it would seem like a, it harkened back to like Arthurian legend and stuff and riding a crazy beast and things. And it doesn't come across that way at all in that movie. But here you can see somebody saying, oh, let's do the thing where the hero is on a white horse and he's doing something heroic and that'll be awesome. And it is. Yeah, they yeah. pull it off. Um, and as, as Andrew just pointed out, uh, I think in the last minute, um, Jim Steranko, who did a lot of the concept art for this film, did like a really iconic painting of Indy jumping from the horse to the truck. Yeah. And if you haven't seen his artwork, it's absolutely incredible. And if you go to our website, indianajonesminute.com and look in the library section, uh, we have a link to some of Jim Steranko's uh, concept art for this movie. And you will not be disappointed if you check it out. 
Is he like That's pulling true. a gun on a cobra or something like that? <laughs> 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 yeah, the and, and Saranko, he he created the whole visual look for Indiana Jones as well, the the jacket and the hat and everything. And and you know, in addition to being a legendary painter and comic artist, he was also an escape artist and wow. and, and all kinds of stuff. And he's still around. You can see him every now and then at like uh, at New York Comic Con and, and things like that. I've got a really nice autographed shadow picture. He did the shadow for a while. He's wow. a guy that knows pulps. He he knew what he That's was incredible. doing. Incredible. Yeah. What I love about this minute, um, minute eighty four, is that we see Belloc's nightmare become a reality. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he, he had an inkling that all this pyrotechnic rumpus might be Jones. Yeah. But he wasn't sure, you know, and then now he's sure. Yeah. And we, we see him. the, yeah, we, we see the quote, I don't know. I'm making this up as I go guy. Just scare the living. Yeah. Out of Mr. <laughs> <laughs> out of Mr. Hospital corners. Although and, he doesn't even you know, seem scared. He's like... Oh, yeah. he's Like, you get to see the chaotic, making it up as he goes guy just scare the hell out of Mr. Direct Deposit Belloc. <laughs> but he's, but he's, it looked, there's, like, almost no reaction in his face. He's, like, startled, but he's, like, he's kind of like, oh, yeah, he's Jones worried. is on a horse. He's, he's going to get on the well, truck now. That, that was, he had, again, he had an inkling that this it might be this, but now yeah. you see, he sees the proof. Yeah. Yeah. And he this almost is, looks I at mean, the camera like, eh? that This is Indiana why I like, I like Indiana <laughs> Jones better than Han Solo. You know, because and Belloc is helpless here, and he's he's sitting there literally doing crossword puzzles in the back seat with Dietrich during the ambush, and he's he can't do anything. He just has to watch. Yeah. And, and this is what I love highlights about these two characters. Like, Belloc can always get the better of Indiana Jones and, you know, take what once belonged to him. But what he can't do is stop Indiana Jones. He, he can't kill him and he can't, no matter how hard he tries, he can't yeah. curtail his pace. And Jones is always a step behind him to take that thing back. Well, you could yeah. argue that Bella could try a little harder to kill Indiana Jones. <laughs> He's had him at gunpoint <laughs> and arrow point and in a pit of well, snakes know. and... It's his his own artistic flair gets in his it gets in yeah. his way. Yeah. <laughs> you know he always has to he always has to do it with some. Uh, there always need to be some, some finesse. Yeah, it's a little filigree around the death. <laughs> 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 and this, I mean, this is going to sound terrible and violent, and I'd never do it. <laughs> um. <laughs> But there is something so satisfying when Indy throws that first guy sitting in the passenger seat out of the truck. Yeah. <laughs> it's it I mean the whole chase is is filled with stuff like this. And when he does that with this first guy, you're like, "Oh, it's going to be that kind of chase." Like they're not kidding around. <laughs> like Indy's killing people now to try to get this thing back. Like he's going bananas. He's not kidding around. And, and he, he just, seems it, really fed up too. He just grabs a guy and is like, "Let's get this over with." Yeah, yeah you out of here. <laughs> and you're you're watching that, and if you live in Los Angeles, like I do, I mean it's so satisfying because, <laughs> you know, if you've ever driven the 405 South, you just you want to do that. You want to <laughs> jump on some car and open the door and throw the guy down on the 405 South. <laughs> the problem is on the 405 South, you're never going more than two or three miles an hour, so you're going to throw him down. <laughs> he's just going to get right back up and punch him. <laughs> Well, that's just sort of the friendly part of it, you know. <laughs> He's jogging along next to you. Hey, yeah. I didn't like that. Then he gets to throw you out, and the, the yeah. whole game continues. <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful symphony of highway life. <laughs> um, I love, uh, just before he gets on the truck, he's on the horse, and, and the guys on the gun the gun vehicle, or whatever it is, I was going to say gun ship, but they're not sailing. Nah, um, not yet. They, they, they start uh, machine gunning him, and they <laughs> they track him and end up shooting the truck. Right. The Nazis in the truck are like, "Hey, hey come on!" Yeah. <laughs> well, awesome. that one that one guy actually screams, "Watch out!" Which, oh, in English? <laughs> yeah, in English, which of course supports my uh, "Haven't you got any breath in you?" theory. <sighs> but, you know, occasionally Nazis slip into English. You know, he said you, you might have to have headphones on, but one of the guys says, watch out. I believe you. I believe you with this guy. 
What, I believe what Dietrich this... doesn't know is that this entire crew is all American spies. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> this is just 12 mother knights happening under his nose. And he has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Well, when when Indy gets off the horse and the horse neighs, do you think the horse is, <laughs> you know, is he wishing Indy like good luck? Yeah, he's like, go get better you than me. Oh. <laughs> go back to that guy you stole me from. He said, I've never been ridden like that before. <laughs> or maybe he's answering him. Indy was like, "Okay, horse, this is where we jump into the truck," and the horse is like, "Nay." <laughs> the horse I is like. <laughs> Where are the horses? Like, where Where the hell am I? <laughs> right, where'd you take me? Yeah, oh, I like because was... the horse just disappears. Like, as soon as he jumps on the truck, the horse is gone. Yeah. And I think the truck's like, oh, I'm out of here. He's free to have <laughs> new adventures, all on his own. It would be great if we had a cut scene where the horse went back and started punching at the, the guy with the <laughs> machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> How do you that... like it? <laughs> <laughs> I think that that's like a crystal skull sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not convinced that doesn't happen in Crystal Yeah, Spray. I'm not convinced that doesn't happen. <laughs> it was in there, yeah. Am I the only one sort of confused by the, is he stepping on the brake or is he stepping on the gas? Um, this is a cool thing. I never noticed this before we were watching this a minute at a time, which is what's great about this format. But they're, they're like having a, a foot war. They're, <laughs> the, yeah. The driver is hitting the brake, and and he's trying to do that, I imagine, so that his allies all around can get over there and help him. And Uh Indy is trying to kick his foot off the brake and hit the gas, and and he's going to hit the gas in the next minute, which is... But I never noticed that about this, except for in that he's braking and the the car behind them runs into their tail. It's always weird. It always throws me a little bit, because the way it's... Like, I can't keep track of the pedals. When they slam on this pedal, I expect them to be accelerating but they totally hit the brake and they you know they slow down and well you're like isn't the gas pedal on the right i think there's like three pedals there and they're i don't know it's hard to see i was like is my car backwards no (laughs) i mean it looks it it, the way it's shot it looks like i i don't know it doesn't i i I didn't understand I think you sort of can't see the gas pedal first because the brake pedal's in the way and then because the foot's in the way i think it's kind of there's like a few frames where it makes sense, but it's hard to see. This has been car talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, there's more of this uh, footsy dancerama in the next minute. So maybe we should um, get in our sleeping bags, go to bed, come back tomorrow, and we can. But not yet. <laughs> Jesus, we're not done. Hey, Jerry. Some of us are way ahead of you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> in more ways than one andrew where can people find you and your show oh you can find me at no time for heroics.com or uh, just search no time for heroics over on uh, itunes and stuff and uh, yeah we talk about superhero movies or you know not so superhero movies and and in fact uh, sinister squad just came out a few weeks ago or, or rather uh, uh suicide squad and so we actually watched the movie sinister squad instead <laughs> which is is the mockbuster kind of uh, transmorphers version of Sinister Squad? Oh, uh, awesome! Side Squad, and uh, it wasn't it wasn't a fun experience. <laughs> <laughs> well, you brought this on yourself. We really <laughs> did, and we got punished for it. Oh man! But the listeners will enjoy. What um, the- but Pete, where can people find our show? Which is, um, I mean, we at least picked like an awesome movie to watch for a year or something so there's not that kind of torture uh you can find all of our episodes at indiana jones minute.com and if you've been enjoying the show at all we would love it if you went to itunes and left us a review you you guys you guys just liked your own show didn't you um I, yes we are we not supposed to do that <laughs> all right, i like my own show every night see whoa <laughs> <laughs> on that note uh, please come back tomorrow for minute 85, if you dare, of Raiders of the Lost Ark here on the Indiana Jones Minute. Watch out, Indy. <laughs> Go get him, Indy. I'm so pleased you're not dead. <laughs> Better you than me. <laughs> <laughs>